The inventions of enslaved Afro-descended people in the Americas historically have seldom received recognition or official patents. However, this reality wasn't enough to forestall the pursuit of black American innovation. So today, I wanted to discuss an important invention by an enslaved African American man that not only impacted American military history, but gave him his freedom. <laughs> What up African world, it's Home Team here and welcome back to another video of African history, culture and worldview. By supporting this channel on Patreon, you're helping in the creation of these videos and contributing to this content. The link to Patreon is in the description box below. Also, stay tuned with the word from my sponsors. Hello, my name is Howard Dorsey, I'm 54 years old. I'm here to talk about my uh, experience with herbal results. Um, I was getting sick, so I, I went to the doctor and they told me that um, my blood pressure was high, my cholesterol was borderline or high, so I was very sick. You know, I thought I was, sometimes I thought I was dying at, at some point. And uh, I ordered a bottle of olive leaf extract. This is, this is how the bottle comes in. And within the first probably week and a half, two weeks, I checked my blood pressure and it was back down to normal. It was like 120 over 80. My cholesterol went down to uh, 125. You know, I definitely believe that olive leaf extract from herbal results saved my life. And I, that's real. I mean, I, 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 and I recommend it to everyone in my family, my friends, and we've seen a lot of results in that, in that manner as well. Purchase now at herbalresults.net. Today, we're going to be talking about a man known today as Benjamin Bradley. Interestingly enough, according to older records from the 19th century, his real name was Benjamin Bordley. So that's how I'll be referring to him throughout the video. It's important to note that the details concerning the history of Benjamin Bordley will vary slightly depending on the source. However, the general theme remains the same. So please keep that in mind. Benjamin was an enslaved person born in 1836. He lived in Maryland where, according to one source, he was taught how to read and write from his enslaver's children. Benjamin had an undeniable intelligence that quickly began to manifest. While working in a printing office, he meticulously studied the functionality of various machines. He began to work with the materials available to build new things. In the 1850s, Bradley worked in an office where he built his first working steam engine from pieces of scrap metal, gun barrel, pewter, steel, and junk. His mechanical skills became so impressive that the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland offered him a job as an assistant in the science department. Benjamin Bordley was actually paid for his work, however, his enslaver kept most of the funds and allotted him just $5. This small income did not stop his forward thinking, however. Benjamin Bordley saved his money and sold the engine he created to a student at the Naval Academy. The proceeds from the sale allowed him to create a valuable asset that caught the eye of the US military. He took his money, combined it with the meager savings he was permitted to keep from his wages and designed and built his most impressive invention, the first steam engine strong enough to power a warship at a rate of 16 knots an hour. This is a speed of about 18 miles per hour. It wasn't the first steam engine ever invented, but it was the first steam engine that provided such remarkable horsepower for its time. Unfortunately, his improvement of the steam engine could not be patented due to his enslaved status. Official recognition of black inventors was virtually non-existent, especially during enslavement. In fact, a popular candidate for Congress in the 1800s proclaimed that Afro-descended people never reached the dignity of an inventor. So it's not hard to imagine the tremendous obstacles Benjamin Bordley had to face. However, he was able to accomplish something that not many were able to do. With no possibility of securing a patent for his hard work, Bordley knew his options were limited. Without a patent, he couldn't promote and profit from his invention 
but such an important engineering breakthrough deserved more than being tucked away and ignored. Bordley made a choice that would not only change the course of naval engineering, but would also change the course of his own life. Bordley was able to sell the designs for the engine and keep the money for himself. He lost the rights to his invention, but with the money earned from selling the engine, combined with the money he had saved from his employment, he was able to buy his freedom. Curiously, another source from the 19th century claims that the social status of Benjamin Bordley was changed by different means. Exhibited at our office a few days ago, a very ingeniously constructed miniature steam engine and boiler of about six fly power, we should judge, which was designed and constructed by Benjamin Bordley, once a slave in Maryland. Attracted by the mechanical genius and skill of Bordley, a few gentlemen clubbed together and purchased him and gave him his liberty. Whatever the truth is regarding the social status of Benjamin Bordley, his story is certainly an incredible one. Well, I'm all out, guys. If you like these videos and want to help in its continued production, consider supporting the home team on Patreon.com. The link is in the description box below. Know thyself. Remember your ancestors. Peace. <laughs>